Hey, how's the cowboy boss here? How you doing? All right, so it's the Cowboys versus the Jaguars early, early Sunday morning. You know who I'm rolling with? I'm rolling with the Cowboys. Okay, so I heard we're supposed to sign this player. We didn't sign this player. We're still in talks with this player. I heard we, you know, a player of ours was talking, talking something that the media decided to focus all on that. Um, so I'm going to just make sure who we play this week. Hang on one second. Dallas Cowboys, week 15, at the Jacksonville Jaguars. 8 a.m., Hawaii time, on Fox. Cowboys versus Jaguars. You know what? I know I need glasses because, because my eyes are not as good, but I'm going to clean these glasses just to be sure. Cowboys versus Jaguars. What is all this out of noise? Because I know one thing I do know that what we should be talking about is the Cowboys versus Jaguars. Cowboys win. They get into the playoffs. Um, the Jaguars are still in the hunt. The team that they played last week the, that leads their division, the Titans, they dominated them. So their division is not settled. They have an opportunity to make a huge statement. They need this win. Not... Not this for statement wise, this is a win. They need this win against us just as much as we need it against them. Because if we win, we get into the playoffs. This team is not the team that we that, that we allow to hang around, that we play down the competition for you know, that one win team that we that we that that um that we played the competition and took a busted play and a and a huge goal line stand and then a ninety eight yard drive. You know? Um Defensively, there's some things that I that that's why I call them, that's why I still call them Doom Age. You know, I gave them Doom baby Doomers before now, and then I started calling them Doom Age um, because they haven't earned the right to have that name yet. Um, you know, there was some plays where I was like, "Come on, you guys, get the quarterback down. This this team, you should be you should be dominating." Nope, 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 nope. And all right, and then you know we lost Jonathan Hankins, who we had to trade for because we decided to give we decided to let go, uh, John Widray. so we had to trade for Jonathan Hankins. Now he's gone for at least the regular season, at least for the regular season. Uh, so we got brought in this huge kid, and all I need from him is to, is to anchor down, not get moved around, and you know occupy blockers. That's all I need. Uh, we signed Mackenzie Alexander, and we also signed Trayvon Mullen. Um, I think Dan Quinn has a specific role for Deron Bland. So this this guy is for these two guys are for more for putting Nation on right and and um and Calvin Joseph on on blast and all that. Um, offensively, you know, um, man, Terrence still he worked so hard to get where he's at. I mean, there was a time I was just like, what the hell are we doing, and all that. You know, two thousand twenty was. And then beginning of 2021, you know, in the in the preseason, I was like, this guy can't play. And then, you know, and he but he's worked his butt off. He you know, he's worked his ass off. And and he became one of our better offensive linemen. And, you know, and now he's gone for this for the year. Not just for the regular season, but for the whole year. And all that. So so welcome back, Tyron Smith. I know he hasn't started right tackle since his rookie season. Um, you know, but anyway. Um, you know, and I hope the Cowboys continue to improve. And with 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 um with 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 um, Tyron Smith being back, you know, and being next to Zach Martin, hopefully he can clean up his some of his penalties he had the last time that he played and all that. And I'm glad that they they decided like, you know, if they decide to move him back and forth, I hope that it's not too much because I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna see too much confusion and all that. Uh, we signed T.Y. Hilton. Now, I hold a whole OBJ talking, all that kind of stuff. If T.Y. Hilton comes in and produces for us, good job. Good job, Will McClay. Good job, front office. You guys did what you guys needed to do. If he doesn't produce, then whatever. But then this whole OBJ talk, no. Beat the, beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Get into the playoffs. That's all this talk should be right now. I don't want to hear about OBJ and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Dak, brah, come on. Stop turning over the damn ball. 
be smart. This team that we're playing against, Trevor Lawrence is starting to starting to really, you know, starts to show something that he could become. He's starting to really show his potential and all that. They have Walker, another another good player that they was high pick in the draft. You know, I think it's the overall first overall pick. Uh, ATN, I liked him a lot. Um, you know, Josh Allen. All these players, bro, they they're a good team. Don't don't think that you can get away what we did. Playing down to the competition again. Stop doing that. Focus on this game. Let's get this game and let's get this win. That's all. I, I don't want to talk anything else. I'm sorry. You know what? Let's get this win. Be focused and all that. We play the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right. Mahalo for watching. Pony, all the boys. Who are you with? You know who I'm with? I'm with the Dallas Cowboys.